what is up guys i'm back with another video guys today i'm going to be showing you how to install dot os so let's get into it guys so first wipe everything except the internal storage and yes this installation video is the same as the covis os so if you feel confident enough to install it yourself you can so guys um we're going to be flashing we're going to be flashing the zip file tree ui 0.9.5 and afterwards we are going to create a backup like last time we did for Corvus. But obviously I'm going to show you the steps all again. And like always guys, all the links for the videos are going to be I'm mean not for the videos, all the files are going to be in the down in the description below guys. As you can see guys, you guys can click anything, but I really love the country Thailand. So I always like to click the Thailand button, but if you guys you can really click any option that's not really important on which one you choose. So yeah guys, it's just going to install, I'm just going to skip this guys for you guys because it's very boring and there's no reason to actually see this install one by one. So let me just skip it for you guys, be back in a second. Yeah guys, so we're back and yeah, it's been installed, we're going to go back, do not reboot the phone now guys, then it will not work, so do not reboot the phone, you're going to just be wasting your time. So yeah guys, if you do get a black screen like this, it's completely normal. What I like to do is just press the power button because sometimes the phone does not turn on, which is fine, guys. Don't freak out. You might think, oh, I break my phone. Oh, my goodness. No, guys, you didn't break your phone. No worries. Now, just keep trying to press the power button because it actually goes to sleep by itself. As you can see, I woke it up and now it's perfect. So after installing the tree UI 0.9.5, we're going to create a backup file using 12. So you'll, you'll want to go back to the main screen click backup uncheck everything and click boot and make sure your storage is selected to internal storage okay guys that's it now you like to wipe everything again except the internal storage because obviously if you do wipe the internal storage your backup it's gonna go bye bye and if it goes bye bye this tutorial will not work so guys please do not wipe the internal storage so guys the next thing we're gonna do is um, install the vendor in, in this case a vendor is project UI Guys, this is a standard vendor we use for Android 11. It's going to be linked down in the description below, guys. No worries. And if you guys are looking for a stable, let's say, Android 10 ROM, I do recommend do trying Project UI, um, Project One UI, our vendor. Because, guys, obviously the vendor is very good every time we use the vendor. So if you want to just use the vendor as your stock Android, feel free to, guys. And also, guys, if you guys are excited, I am going to be, like I said in my previous video, guys, Samsung DeX is coming out for the A7 2018, and I'll be releasing it as soon as I can, guys. If you guys are excited for the video, make sure to hit that like button, and guys, let's keep subscribing. We're nearly to 600 views. So, guys, after you have installed Project UI, you have to go back, and this time, we're flashing the GSI. In this case, we're flashing .OS, guys. As you guys, if you guys haven't seen the review yet of .OS, I will leave it in the right hand corner. You just have to click on it and then you can review it and see for yourself how very cool it is. It's very nice guys. It's actually themed on the latest version of Android, Android 12. So if you guys want to see that, I'll just leave it down in the description and in the right hand corner if you guys are interested for that, yeah? So yeah guys. Um, for real, as I was um, actually reviewing .OS, the GSI were currently ex installing. Um, it was very smooth, guys. It was giving me the looks, like I previously said so many times already, the Android 12 theme. So this is essentially the future of Android 12. As you can see, the customization feature, customizations of Android 12 slowly changed. We went from straight lines, boxes, to rectangular square shapes. And they're slowly evolving to something bigger and bigger and bigger. We'll see changes very nicely, guys. And I hope to install Android 12 very soon. So, guys, after you have installed the GSI, flash to kernel. And, yes, guys, I really do hope we start um, getting updates for 12. And, yeah, guys, with the Pitch Black project for 12 is coming out very soon, guys, on the channel, like I also said in the COVID videos. But, guys, it's coming out very soon. If you guys are excited for that, make sure to hit the like button. Now, guys, we're flashing Majestic 21.4 version. And also, guys, like um, like always, if you have any questions, guys, please feel free to comment down below. I'm always answering questions for my comments, guys. If when I have time, I will always go back and make sure I comment on every single um, comment you guys put down there. So if you guys have any questions at all, guys, please comment down below. So guys, after flashing Majestic, all you want to go do is now we're going to restore the boot image that we backed up from the one UI. In this case, I have two, but you guys won't have two. Um, 
just you just have one just click on that one and then just restore it and then just click reboot and do not install so yeah guys that's it that's it dot os has been successfully installed on your a7 2018 guys so yeah guys um it's just gonna boot up in a couple of minutes actually guys the thing is if you guys were curious on how you find out if the gsi is gonna boot or not in a few seconds it should work in like 15 seconds if it takes longer than 15 seconds to boot up your screen you did probably did something wrong as you can see guys the uh, boot animation for dot os is very nice guys you can see it's like a Minimal, minimalistic ball three balls just roaming around each other guys it's very cool very nice guys this roam is also very smooth so yeah guys and guys please do use this man this um tutorial and install this gsi and so yeah guys that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye